Hello. Today's word of the day is going to be gaslighting. Let's learn what gaslighting is. Are you the victim of gaslighting? Watch out for these signs. You constantly question yourself. You wonder if you're too sensitive. You're easily confused. You struggle making decisions. You can't stop apologizing. You think you do everything wrong. You think you are not good enough. You always feel you make bad choices. You think you deserve to be alone. You are unhappy for no reason. You create excuses for them. You've lost confidence. Gaslighting. You can't see it, which is why I'll read it to you. Gaslighting is a form of psychological manipulation in which a person or a group covertly sows seeds of doubt in a targeted individual or group, making them question their own memory, perception, or judgment. There's an unbridled race war going in this country, and you know, you people who have entered into this white genocide. How is it that I fall in the category of you people when, when we first spoke on the phone, you were polite, uh, you agreed to speak with me, and then suddenly you Google me, and you see that I'm a person of color, and suddenly your tone changes, your attitude changes. How do you explain? I haven't changed in the past five minutes. Okay, if you truly believe that racism doesn't uh, exist, then gaslighting involves attempts to destabilize the victim and delegitimize the victim's beliefs. When you're telling a black person, person, right? When you're telling a black person racism doesn't exist, you are gaslighting them. You are attempting to delegitimize the victim's beliefs. America is literally a nation that was built on slavery. There's overwhelming evidence that slavery existed. It's not a fairy tale, just like the Holocaust was not a fairy tale. And by the way, there are people who try to delegitimize the Holocaust and act like the Holocaust never happened as well. Not to mention, the Jim Crow laws didn't end in America until the late 1970s, 1979, which was basically the 80s. The Jim Crow laws were laws that's literally made it illegal for whites and blacks to be in the same businesses and restaurants and buses in America. Do you think 1979 was that far ago? It wasn't. It wasn't. And then those people are not dead, they're still alive. So when they were hanging out signs on the door that said niggers, please don't come here. Do you think that mentality just went away suddenly because they made a law that said you're no longer allowed to discriminate against black people. No, so like, so ga gaslighting is something that happens quite commonly in the world when uh, people try to misinform and, mi and delegitimize, delegitimize what the victim is saying. And this especially happens to the black community and it especially happens to women who are victims of rape. Because uh, what do women get told? Oh, you wanted it. Or they're dismissed by being, well, you shouldn't have wore something that provocative or you shouldn't have been out that time of night. Or let's be real, you wanted it and you're, you were just fighting with your boyfriend, so now you want revenge, right? So, so gaslighting happens all the time to a victim. And it keeps the victim a victim. And it's sickening to me how loud this new generation is with their political opinions and feelings because they don't know their history and they, they often become a part of the problem and not the solution because they're very loud and vocal with their ignorance on global and international subject matters, which all it does is create misdirection, contradiction, misinformation, and, the, and ultimately the young generation who is so vocal becomes a part of the problem because they start gaslighting victims and they're completely unaware of it because often people are not aware of the state of ignorance that they are in now let's read a more simplified version of gaslighting obviously i feel very passionate about this subject because it's gaslighting is literally one of the reasons the world cannot move on is because when you delegitimize the victim and say, this stuff never happened, how can we move on? 
You know, people are people are sick of fighting for equality and justice. And people are sick of acting like there's not problems in the world. We actually want to solve problems, and we can't solve problems if we keep gaslighting victims.